like the middleman. I'm kind of like the, the messenger. Um, so I'm just waiting for the go-ahead in my ear that Rhea's going to be joining the chat. Uh, and then we can obviously have a, a chat with her on screen about the questions uh, that she uh, has been wanting to, uh, to answer. So if we just bear with us and get her on screen, uh, it would be lovely to chat to Rhea today and we'll chat to her. We'll get all the details. Uh, we finally got here today, didn't we, on the on the live. So thank you very much. I know we're all excited uh, for Joseph and the amazing All-Star concert. It's going to be coming to your screens uh, on your smart devices, on your TVs very, very soon. Like I said, I know we are all missing uh, our fix of the West End, Broadway of musicals, and those just fantastic songs. I know we're all missing them. Uh, yeah. But we, uh, we're br they're bringing it to you. We're bringing it to you, and we're very, very, no. very, very excited about it. Um, so today's Rhea Jones. Uh, tomorrow, I believe, is Darren Day. Uh, and fingers crossed the technology sticks out. And if you do want to ask any questions uh, to any of the cast that have been listed on the poster that was uh, put online last night, just get them in. Uh, you can comment below. You can obviously do that uh, through the messages. Uh, I know that there's a, an amazing cast and technical crew working on this right now. So to bring it to your devices, to whatever platform you are watching on us, uh, and, and I know they're all working very hard. I can imagine a few beads of sweat are dropping off their head right now as we uh, we try to make this happen. Uh, I know we're just waiting for Rhea to just uh, just join in. Uh, hopefully that will be soon, and we can get those questions to her, and we can let you get on with your day. As you've probably been here now for an hour waiting for us to chat to Rhea, but we're, we're, we're making it happen. We're making it happen, uh, and I'm, I'm very excited to ask her the questions. Bit of a fan myself. Uh, I've seen her in uh, many of the shows, so uh, I'm looking forward to chatting to her. Hopefully she will be on like Oh, I believe we see Aria on the screen. Hello, Aria, can you hear me? I guess that's a no. There she is. I can see her now. Aria, can you hear me? Oh, no, she's gone. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, technology here, but at least we know she's there. At least we know there's some form of connection. At least we know that it's it's working some way, shape or form uh, and that we will be chatting to her very soon, putting her questions to you. Uh, I know you've been eager for this. Uh, so have I, as I've been sat here for the past <laughs> hour waiting for it to go ahead. But the team are working incredibly hard uh, to bring it to you. So I think we need to thank each and every one. Uh, that, not even just the cast and the crew of the thing, but the technical team that are bringing this, connecting me from my house uh, here to Rhea, uh, to wherever it goes to, to you and whatever device uh, that you are watching us on uh, today. So fingers crossed we will be with us soon. Uh, the questions have started coming through already on my screen here, so I'm very excited. Uh, I know Adam is uh, producing this somewhere. Uh, I don't know, probably in his shed or his kitchen or something. So Adam, if you can hear me, uh, give me an, an insight as to when we are chatting to Rhea. We've seen her. She's looking very glamorous and glazed up, ready for this. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, now, we don't have a date yet for this concert, but I know that it's, it, is, uh, it is not too far away. So it'll be coming very, very soon to you. So I know you're all excited about that. And remember, all this week, asking questions uh, to the cast. It's a brilliant cast. Uh, I know you might be wanting to ask them questions, and we will do so uh, this week here on this question and answer every day on this Facebook page. Uh, if you know friends that are fans of Joseph or of the West End or of Broadway and you want them uh, to not be missing out on this either, then get them to uh, get them to like the page, get them to follow us on uh, on social media, Instagram, uh, on Twitter. Uh, it's just it's incredible. I'm I'm fascinated personally when my I'm very good friends with Adam Lacey, who is the, the uh, executive or creative producer, whatever he wants to call himself. I'm sure it's something jazzy and very talented. Uh, and he told me about. It. I was like, how are you going to make it work? How how is it going to happen? You know, you're just going to. But do you know what? I think in these times right now we've been able to make it happen and we've made things. Uh, on Friday night, I managed to host uh, a massive charity concert and that managed to happen. So we did that. So, and um, I've been doing a radio show from home as well. So we're, we're making it happen. Uh, we, just, we just have to, don't we? Now, we're just waiting for the, the thumbs up from Rhea uh, to be on. We know she's there. We know she's got the technology. We know we've seen her face. We know she's existing. But we just need to chat to her, so hopefully that'll be very, very soon. I know by now you're all probably very bored of listening to me wabble on. I feel like one of those uh, news readers waiting for it to kind of click off and it all goes wrong. That's me. That's my job. <laughs> right now. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. 
Uh, if you have been one of those people that put a question through to Rhea Jones, stay tuned. We hopefully will be asking her them very, very soon. Uh, could be anything. Could be at her amazing glitzy career that she's had uh, across many theatrical performances. Uh, it's just just incredible. Looking forward to that uh, very, very soon. And if you are already following our Facebook page, it's uh, it's thank you very much. We're loving uh, having you here commenting enjoying the stuff uh now i don't know what's happening right now everything has just gone black on my face on here so i hope that that doesn't mean that we've 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 gone completely who knows oh no i'm there i'm back i can see my face there um here we're blabbing on now let's see if we can read some of these comments that are coming through you stream yard so easy i will pass that message on john thank you very much jackie uh laura's obviously mentioned on there that you can make a donation it is for fundraising uh, so please do click on the link after the video or whilst waiting, maybe. Uh, and uh, and yeah, go on there. That'd be uh, be able for if you could donate. That'd be lovely. Um, where are we? Here we go. I hate seeing my own face on there. I apologise for that. If you're having to see this, make some things. Uh, go go go! Creative team. Yeah, they're working very hard. Joe Mason, when is the concert? I don't need to answer that. Somebody's just answered that for me. Give me something to do. Come on, guys. Um, love this. <laughs> Thank you, James. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, we've got some questions. Thank you very Sarah. I'll try to get that through to her. Uh, Jackie's waving. Hello again, Jackie. Uh, StreamYard. I can imagine right now, John, uh, that everybody on the team, you know, Googling away on their apps and their iPads, looking for StreamYard if it's so much easier. Personally, I have no idea what any of this is. I just got sent a link, I clicked on it, and here I, here I am. Uh, still waiting to go live. Uh, Jordan, hello to you. Hey to everyone, Jordan. Uh, keep your comments coming. Uh, uh, we heard Rhea speaking to you, but couldn't hear her. Oh, well, that's one step from up, because I can't hear me or her, so poor you guys. But thank you, Rita. Hope you're well. Uh, thank you to everyone for coming. Keep the comments going. If you want, shout out to people. If you've got your friends, I mean, we've got to fill the time right now. Uh, it'd be great. Um, yeah. Oh, I can hear somebody. Something's coming through. I believe he's at. Hello, Ria. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh my, my God. We've made it work. I, swear to God, I would rather have gone on for Glenn Close fifty times over with those nerves than the nerve experience. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm that close to opening another bottle of Prosecco. Oh, I, I, I nearly joined you on that, Ria. I think for me, the most difficult <laughs> bit was I'm, I'm sat here, I'm blabbing it on, and I'm feeling all these people are watching I, and going, who's this random Yorkshireman, Yorkshireman jabbling along? We just want to see Ria. Nobody I, wants to see me. They want to see I, you, my love. I swear to God, I've been waiting for somebody to come around the corner with a gotcha. <laughs> Same here. Well, I'm first... Oh, uh, so Rhea, is she? Doing it or what? What's happening? Oh, technology is fantastic. Well, first of all, let's get official. Good afternoon, Rhea. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've, I'm thrilled to be here. I, I've waited an hour to see your beautiful face. So thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, right. You do need a drink. <laughs> the thing is, I'm... I know I'm in Wales, but that's really taken the mickey. Now I really think people think we don't have electricity. Well, we do. And I was waiting, and I've been ready and waiting since quarter to one. Just so I, you know, we're not, we're not all that, you know. No, I think, I think Adam was frantically panicking in my ear. I think he was ready to get a pigeon and a, a, a cup and a long bit of string sent down to you to make it work. If I reapplied any more makeup, I would look like, well, I don't know, whatever happened to Baby Jane. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us. I know we're all very excited about this massive concert that's coming and uh, we're thrilled to have you on board. Now, people have been sending in questions. They're continuing to send in questions. Are you OK for me to get straight into it and ask the questions? Let's yes. get... I think people have been waiting long enough. Bless you all. Bless you all waiting. Right, Ria, let's get straight into it then. Uh, the first question, do you like making audience laugh, audiences laugh or feel emotional and shed a tear? Well, I, I must admit, I do love making people laugh, especially now. Let's face it, we need a few laughs at the moment. Yeah. And there's nothing quite like laughing to lift your spirits and lift your, your mood. 
So I do love to make people laugh. Oh, but on the other hand, I also do love to make people cry. Um, as as a performer, especially right with the role of Norma Desmond, by the end of the show, I was so exhausted. It's such an emotionally charged um, part. By the end, you got. I got. When I finished the show, I was exhausted and so full of so much emotion. It was quite an adrenaline rush. So if I had to really choose, oh, I think I would choose emotional. Yeah, yeah. Because the response after Sunset was unbelievable. So I think I'd have to choose that. But I do love to make people laugh too. Maybe more in real life than on stage. Yeah. It's about sending on a journey, isn't it? And allowing them to go on the journey with you through the story, I can imagine. Absolutely. In all the roles you've played to date, which one has been your most favourite and why? I think it's going to have to be back to Norma Desmond again. Uh, I mean, and the reason why I think it was such a it was such a long journey for me from originally doing the workshop when I was twenty four. Can't believe where those ten years have gone. I really can't. <laughs> Flown by. Flown. But no, seriously, it was such a journey for me um, from then to never think I'd actually get to play it because normally they have big, huge stars to play the role, you know. So I never thought I'd get to play her. And then, of course, fast forward all 26 years when I got to actually step in for Glenn. And then from that to do the tour and the role in my own right. So I think I'd have to her um, for, for, for lots of reasons. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Um, now, if you haven't if you hadn't gone into this profession, I know this has taken up a, a vast majority of your talented life. What would you like to have done? It's a really good question. I'm thinking that at the moment. <laughs> my, mother, my mother said to me, I said, because I've never even had a Saturday job. I count myself very, very lucky. I've never done anything else for like 37 now other than entertain. So, uh, you know, and it's this times like this, you think, God, what else could I do? And my mother said to me, well, you could do gut people's gardens. Yeah, active. Gardening, of course. So, um, but I do love gardening, but I think I'd love to, either do um interior design which i love yeah or um i'd love to be a personal stylist yeah don't so look at my clothes when you're supposed to be here for two weeks <laughs> i came down for two weeks to see my mum and i've been here nearly two months now so I'm, running yeah. I'm afraid you're gonna have to see this old <laughs> i like i like the way that the other two professions that you'd like to go in are still creative and are still quite flamboyant do you think well yeah. it depends on your garden but well, yeah, true. That's how you like to dress. But no, you can be very flamboyant in the garden too. Yeah, definitely. Often, I often garden with a turban on, don't you? Um, not this week, but maybe no, next I, week. Maybe. Yeah, I think, you, I think I've, Yeah, isolation, <laughs> haircut, desperation. Oh, don't tell me, but look at this. It's fabulous. Flicks. It's fabulous. Hey. It's nearly a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> don't, I don't know. Like one of my old... Oh, anyway, sorry. Let's get back to the questions. Your hair's fabulous. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, now, many people in the theatrical world like to sing duets. If you would like to sing a duet, who, who would it be with? Well, it's got to be Shirley Bassey. Shirls. I've always wanted to do a duet with Shirley Bassey. Not that she'll be watching, but if anyone You never knows know. Anything, then uh, maybe we can, we can sort it. I always remember... Um, Oh, oh, technology only works so much, doesn't it? But Shirley Bassey, I would definitely agree. Uh, she's, a, she's an absolutely fabulous singer. And Welsh uh, as well. Uh, I'll just see if we'll bring it back. We had, a, we had her for quite a while. Don't worry. It was quite, it's kind of good, that. It's longer than we thought at one o'clock when it wouldn't work. That's, that's more than we uh, could imagine. So you, this way, you might just be stuck with my face again for just a short while. But uh, to nice to know that she would be a gardener or a stylist. I think that would be uh, definitely up there. Not sure about the turban, though. Or the mullet. The mullet could, could be a winner. So we're asking her are the questions that you've been sending in. Hey! <laughs> I swear to God, about 10 emails came through in one... And suddenly I was, I was, I was uh, on AOL. To be in demand, eh? How bizarre. I know. Are you able to flip your screen or, or, or whatever? No, no I, I've kept it as it was. 
Oh, okay, well, you've you've changed your mind. Never mind. I'm sure I'm sure the big technical team will be uh, working on it. There we go. You have to just redo it again for seconds. Ah, right. On, so we we were asking about the duet. Now you said Shirley, yeah. and you were appealing for people if they know her to get in touch. Because uh, I always loved the duet with Celine Dion and Barbara Streisand. Tell him, and I thought I'd yeah. love to do that with Bassey. I'd love to do a Welsh version of Tell Him with Shirley Bassey. There you go. I think that's fantastic. That'd be uh, that'd be brilliant. I think that's something everybody watching this and on board with the concert would definitely like to see. Now, many musicals have been adapted from books. Can you name a book that you have read and afterwards have thought the story would have made a great musical? Yes, a year ago, I read a fantastic book by Linda LaPlante, Bella Mafia, and it's been since made into a TV film. And I always thought that would make a fantastic uh, musical, especially for women and of all ages, because mm. there's quite a lack of good musicals for older women, especially. Um, and, you know, with strong uh, female roles and parts. I mean, Nine is a fantastic musical for women. Um, and I always thought Bella Mafia would make yeah. a fantastic musical. So uh, anyone out there, any budding writers, get writing. It's yeah. a great story. And, a, and strong women and I think that that would make an amazing musical yeah yeah I think if anyone's going to write something like that and 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 embrace it, it's going to be now when they're able to focus they've got nothing distracting them and be able yeah. to to get on with it now who has been your favorite performer to work with and why you know I must admit I really going back to Joseph funnily enough I really enjoyed working with Philip Schofield yeah he was my Joseph, and uh, he just made performing with him a joy every single show. We laughed so much. You know what he's like. He's so yes. <laughs> and live, well, live theatre, it's, it's by the end, I was so scared of going on stage not knowing what was going to happen. I would just come out in sweats because he could get away with it because he's Philip Schofield, but I was the narrator keeping the whole thing together or trying to, and he would just, it was his mission to make me laugh. My very first performance, he said to me, my very first performance, he said, I've heard you don't corpse eat. I said, well, no, not, not really. And he said, oh, okay. And he, you could see he was going to make his, his mission to make me laugh. And my, on the first bow, um, I went to take my bow with him and he put something in my hand. It was really like squishy and horrible. And uh, on the bow, I said, well, what's that? On, on the bow down, he said, it's Molly's poo, which was his little girl, Molly, at the time. He said it was her poo in my hand. <laughs> And it was a big bunch of like uh, Rolos that had melted into what looked like Molly's poo in my hand. And yeah. he said, welcome to the show. And I thought, oh, here we go. That's my first night. So you can imagine. Yeah. But it, he was a joy. And I looked forward to seeing him every show. Oh, I can, I can imagine that's a true test of your professionalism in moments like that. I mean, there were times when I did lose it. It was awful, you know, and he yeah. lost it. Two two of us together. And it was... Anyone that's watching knows what I mean when it's, you know, you, you can't, but you can't stop yourself. And we couldn't, I couldn't get a word out, you know, I was just crying, laughing. It was awful, really, but very fun. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Now, if you could revive any role in any show, uh, especially for you to play the lead, in what would it be and why? It's a really good question. I'd love to do Mrs. Overall in Acorn Nights again. Uh, it's such a it was such a special time for me working very closely with Victoria Wood. She directed it, and yeah. it was a role I was terrified of taking on right at the beginning because stepping into the shoes of Julie Walters, who's one of my all time favorite actresses, and I've met her since, and she's as beautiful, you know, off screen as she is on, uh, absolute joy. So I would love to I would love to do some comedy now. I mean, I'd always. I, I would love to play Norma Desmond as long as I sing it. I'd love to play her. And Mama yeah. Rose was a great favourite. I'd love to to do Mama Rose again uh, in a different, uh, because we did it in the round in the Royal Exchange, which was incredible and very, very um, exciting and different. But I'd like to play her again, maybe in a proscenium theatre, just to see what the difference, the difference is. And it's a role I didn't think... Uh, by the end of, I think it was a six weeks play and I had quite a lot of illness during it. Um, and so I'd love to play that role again in a different uh, setting, maybe with a proscenium. 
Um, but I think if I had to choose one, it would be Mrs. Overall Nacron Antique, especially after this, because you just I just want to have a laugh. <laughs> yeah, fantastic choice. Now, you mentioned there Philip Schofield and Julie Walters. Now, do you yeah. have one theatrical hero or heroine you would love to appear on stage with? Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews, good choice. Uh, growing up was my heroine. I absolutely loved her. I still do. And... Um, I just think she's a fantastic ambassador for the arts, for the craft of musical theatre and her films, you know, and she's had such, I mean, sadly, you know, when she had the vocal problems and, and that operation, yeah. that was a sad, sad time for her. But she's bounced back and done films. Um, and, you know, I think she has a Julia Green Room on Facebook as well, where you can go and tell stories, children's stories. She's passionate about writing now for children. Um, and I think... Yeah, she's had such a diverse career, but from a little girl to now, I've just always, always adored her. So to just stand next to her on stage would be an utter privilege. She's definitely one of the legends indeed. Now, as we are in these unpredictable times and you're trying to express yourself using, you know, technology like we have today uh, with, with difficulty. Oh. Yeah, we got there. We got there. How do costumes help you get into character? Uh, they really do. I mean, you can rehearse a role for two months, eight weeks, or whatever, and, and you feel you're getting the role, you're getting the character, but you feel there's something missing. The minute you put on the costume, the wig and everything, especially with heightened characters like Norma yeah. Desmond, you've got Ava Perron and Mrs. Overall, and the wig, everything, it... It does change your physicality. It it just, it really, really helps. Um, I always remember as well, Thora Heard saying she always started with the shoes. Once you've got the shoes right of a character, that's it. That's the <laughs> Um And it's true, you know, shoes make a, a big difference in how you stand on stage. Mrs. Overall, I had flat slippers and you just, it, it, you, your physicality would be different because of that. Normal, you had a heel. Hold yourself differently so costumes do play a huge huge part and it, it's the minute you put it on you turn turn to the mirror you, you it helps tremendously oh brilliant there you go i know all these questions that are coming through uh, on our facebook page uh, thank you to everyone for getting in touch still a few more to, to squeeze in if you could give yourself uh, one piece of advice uh, to your six-year-old self what would it be Stop showing off for <laughs> my mum. Stop showing off for everybody who's spoiling it for everyone else. Um, I think it would be to tell myself to write everything down. Write all your experiences and memories of everything from that age. I mean, it's hard when you're six, but I think, you know, the older you get, to keep, keep a diary and write everything down because times like these, you know, you have... I love photographs. I'm a big fan of photographs. And um, as wonderful as this technology is, I just think you can't beat a photograph and you can't beat a good read. And to read all your memories, uh, I think is, would be a lovely, I'd love to look back uh, at some of my diaries, I guess, from, yeah. from you know, through my teens. And I haven't got anything, I, you know, it's only what I can remember. And I'd love to look back and read. My mum kept a few of my uh, school books, my homework homework books and um we do laugh there's a few stories on there one is called um trapped a woman's life and i wrote it at 12 and it's just hysterical how my mind was working at 12 looking back now uh, maybe i should have listened to it but um uh that's what i would my I advise write write everything because i suppose if you get as successful as yourself it's uh some publishing deal further down the way and it'd be interesting for other people to see how you grew to be as successful as you are day by day. Yeah, and I think although it's good to now to look back and remember and write things down, it's never the same as reading it out of the mouth of, mouths of a babe who, you know, back then, how, yeah. I would have expressed, how I think I would have expressed it then. You know, it's very oh. different. Yeah, it is indeed. Now, we've, we'll squeeze in two bonus questions uh, and then yeah. we'll let you go and then I know we can build up more excitement ready for this massive oh, concert. I'm in for the night. I'm going to get a bottle of Prosecco. Nothing else to do. I'm happy to keep going. No. An another bottle of Prosecco, did you just say then? <laughs> Sorry. As in, <laughs> the one last night. Right. Yeah, yeah. 
I believe okay. you. I believe yeah. you. Yeah. Now, if you could perform as any character in any show, what would it be and why? And secondly, let's milk this. Are there any venues in the world you would uh, yet love to perform in? Where and why? That's a long one. Ooh. I'd love to perform, and go backwards, I'd love to perform in Carnegie Hall. Uh, I think, you know, a lot of Americans, American friends of mine always say, you know, the, the Royal Albert Hall and the Palladium are the places to play in Britain, which they are. And I've yeah. been very lucky to have performed in both with the Royal Albert Hall many, many times. And it is, the minute, when you walk out to, onto that stage, the, you can smell the history there. It's, yeah. it's a real honour. And I think the equivalent would be um, Carnegie Hall and or Radio City Music Hall. They would be the, the two, I think, or the ones I would love to, to sing in and perform in, definitely. And the other question was, what, which role? Uh, yeah, any character in the show, what would it be and why? I've done quite a lot of them, luckily. Um, I really don't know. How lucky? I mean, I, I do love um, Jerry Herman, you know, and I love Hello, Dolly. I yeah. love I, I I've yet to do one of his shows so i would love to play dolly one day um i saw the wonderful bet midler on broadway and uh it's just you forget how magical that show is and the and his music and for me that is true musical theater and so i guess i would love to have a crack at at dolly sometime in hello dolly but like i said i'm i'm very lucky um that i've played uh one of my the big one I always wanted to play was Mama Rose, and yes. that I've now ticked that one off as well. Uh, but I, I think I, well, I would love to revisit Mrs. Overall again. I think that would be my the one I'd really like to um, to do again. Yeah, well, it seems quite popular with you in this. It keeps coming back. I think that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's just because of like I said, how I'm feeling now, and it would be nice for everyone to just have a good laugh. Yeah. And it's not one where I've had to, you know, a lot of the roles I've had to worry about my voice and not be able to socialise with the cast as much as I'd love to do because I have to had to look after my voice with no, roles like Norma and, and Mama Rose. But with Mrs. Overall, I mean, she sings the wonderful macaroons, but, you know, it doesn't matter if you crack or if you don't hit the right note. It's funnier if you do. Yeah. And I think the thought of doing a show with less pressure, that side of things would be a nice um, change. Brilliant. Uh, if you could only ever perform on stage, uh, on one stage again, which stage would it be? It would have to be, I think, for sentimental reasons, would be the Grand Theatre in Swansea, where I first performed as a child and yeah. went back and played Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard there in 2017 so I think I or 2018 can't remember now <laughs> years meld into one now never mind day um I just think it was a, it's been a very special place close to my heart it's where my parents met oh. um, I um performed my very first professional show age nine I did panto there which then lasted three months 12 weeks wow but it was it was special special times. I got my junior, uh, uh, my equity junior, child equity card doing that show, so it's a very special place for me. So I play Swansea Grand Theatre, my hometown. Yeah. Good. I mean, everyone's dying to know these questions, but most importantly, with the current affairs going on, what are you doing to keep yourself entertained in lockdown? What are you what are you doing to keep sane? Learning how to use my uh, uh, media. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say this, I am in Swansea and uh, have nothing, I'm here for two weeks, so I'm sort of cobbling everything together and uh, my computer and all things like that are back home in London, so yeah. no, seriously, um, I've got my little dog Dottie with me, luckily, so she keeps me busy every day on our daily walk exercise. I've been um, caring for my mum, who's next door, um, when I first arrived she was quite busy, so I've been caring for her, so I've had my Nurse Jones hat on. And it's been wonderful, actually, to spend some time with her and chat with her, which normally we wouldn't get the chance to do. So I'm turning it into a great positive, having time with mum. I'm sure we drive each other batty. 
as most uh, <laughs> mum and daughter really do. Yeah. But we're, we're surviving. No, it's been it's been good. And I've missed home. I've missed London. I miss my friends terribly. Um, but we are lucky that we do have this these platforms to, to keep in touch. But I've been, yeah, keeping myself doing lots of DIY stuff around my my mum's home for her. And so, yeah. Fantastic. Now, you mentioned Dottie in there. Strange times, isn't it? Very, it's very. Real, I'm, I have a real, I'm sure everyone does, I have real up days and then down days. And it's the not knowing. And it's, it, it's but, you know, try and to stay positive. The, the glass is half, well, mine's going to be full by the end of this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Uh, yeah, half full or half empty, you know, trying to keep the positive. Yeah, I think everyone's coping with it in different ways. Very handsome. You've got lovely teeth. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm honoured. Thank you very much, Ria. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I love how you have placed that behind you, the New York. You know, the yeah, my walls are really bare because I've also been doing DIY, so I thought let's jazz it up a little bit. I love how you've moved that into position beautifully. It's lovely. Thank you very much. Now, you mentioned Dotty in lockdown. Now, Fiona Curtis has commented on this video. Uh, how, how's Dottie coping in lockdown? Dottie, Dottie, come here. She's coming, coming. Dottie, what's this? Come here. Heads just poked through the door, not quite sure. Because she has, she's, um, she's been on to me a couple of times, actually, in the Swansea Grand Theatre. Yeah. She was star guest a couple of times. And when I did Norma Desmond, the wonderful wardrobe department made her a matching turban. Wow. I have a picture with, with, um, her, both of us in our turbans. We named her Dottie Desmond, and she's quite. Yeah, apparently she she won't. She hasn't. She hasn't signed a contract. Apparently she's just oh, said so. She won't. She won't equity appear. equity rates and all that. I get it. Equity. She's um. She's gone back in. She's uh, not not interested. And apparently the lighting isn't that great. So Fair she's enough. gone. So Dottie yeah. the diva. Dottie the diva from Merthyr Tidville. Yes. Got it. Now. Um, are you excited to be part of this massive Joseph event that's going to be happening? Because people are missing the West End, they're missing the musicals, they're yeah. missing the glitz and the glamour. I mean, we're grateful to have you on board, but how do you feel about being on board? It's, it's, it's great. It's great. I mean, I've, like everyone, I've never done anything like it before, you know, recording it just with headphones in, yeah. singing a track with no uh, proper microphone, literally the acoustics, whatever room you 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 record it in that's your acoustics so but it's scary because you don't know what you're going to sound like but it's a great cause it's a wonderful cause and it's a show that's so close to my heart I mean I was 16 when I left home to play the narrator in the Bill Kenwright forum production years wow. ago yeah I was very young and um and then I revisited it again uh when they did the new version of it I, I, yeah. uh, from the Palladium after the, the wonderful Lindsay Haithley, a, a good mate of mine. She was the narrating at the Palladium. And then I did the tour afterwards. Um, follow as well. So it's a, it's a show that's really close to my heart. So to be asked to be a small part of it in what huge, when you think of how many people have performed the show over the years from, I mean, and school, you know, I did, I remember doing it in school. So I think it's, people have grown up with the show so to be part of this concert a few lines you know is 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 wonderful and I'm, i was thrilled to be asked Definitely. i know that people are watching this off the off friends sharing it on social media uh, if they want to go like the facebook page they can of course it's facebook.com forward slash joseph musical just get on there and just uh, like it and look forward to all the stuff that that's coming up now i can imagine it's one of these times where you think i'm just gonna be stuck at home Netflix, Now TV, Amazon, not being able to do anything. So to be able to perform a passion that is good to you in a time where you thought you wouldn't be able to, that must be extra special, extra effort, I guess, extra glitz. Yeah, it's, it's, it is, because, of course, whenever I've sung it before, I've been on a stage in costume with the full orchestra to do at home in, in my mum's sitting room and just sing it at, at a phone was... Um, Bizarre, but wonderful, wonderful as well. Someone, someone asked a question as well. Do I ever sing in the shower? And that, bizarrely, I never sing at home. Someone's asked me this before. I never sing at home. I, 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 I have had Matt Lucas's baked potatoes stuck in my head. Oh, tell me about it. Tell oh me my about god! It. Oh, 
work. That I do sing along with that sometimes, but that's because I can't get it out of my head. But I, unless <laughs> I'm learning a song or for an audition or for a show, I never sing at home. And I, I wonder that myself, why I don't. I all the radio on, so I love listening to other people, but I don't like singing at home. I wouldn't just naturally automatically just sing rooms. No. no. Burst out in the shower with a big finale kind of thing. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned baked potato there now it is a song that's sticking around he's duetting with many people have you been in touch with matt do we need to make these connections and yeah. now that you know how to work technology eh? could it be a thing that we uh, could make well, i think you might it's already um been done so watch this space oh yes. i cannot wait Rhea, well i followed you on twitter today so i'll be able to get updates on that one because oh, and then just okay. as it gets out of my head you can put it back in there yes Thank I wanted you. to do it as a peasant and open it with the line, you there, why are you so big? But I didn't think it would work <laughs> the younger, um, you know, younger yeah. people watch this crazy woman in a turban and shade singing baked potato. But maybe I could do it as Mrs. Overall. She would probably do it, wouldn't she? I, I like the way we've just maybe a bit of an exclusive, a Rhea Jones exclusive on this uh, question in here. There. I like it. Thank you very much. Now, uh, quite a popular question that seems to be coming up. Are you making some Welsh cakes while you're in lockdown? I've Well, not here. Again, back in London, when I'm back in London, I have my mum, which is a special cast slab that you yeah. cook cakes on. Um, I'll definitely be making them when I'm in London. But here at the moment, um, I've been buying them. Well, of course. Them, of course. So I've been eating. Believe me, have I been eating. But, uh, <laughs> And uh, so I've been buying them here, but I haven't made any myself. But quite a few people have sent me photographs on Twitter and Facebook of ones that they've made. And I'm really impressed. Yeah. Oh. Have you had a Welsh Have you ever you know had a Welsh cake? I haven't. But I feel now I need one. I will, uh, I'll, be, I'll be in touch with a recipe and I'll get it going here in my kitchen. Be in touch. Where are you? Where, are you? where do you live? I live near Leeds. Oh, in, okay. in Yorkshire. Well, funnily enough, a friend of mine who's probably listening, Rita Hansen, she lives close to you and she's made them. So there's no excuse. So we can uh, get the like, recipe to you. I like the challenge. Through. I'm up for it. I've got nothing better to do. No. I know. Well, yeah, Rhea, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much. And thank you for being patient with us through the technology issues. But that's it's been an honour. So thank you so it much. Was it wasn't just me, was it? I'm not being that stupid. No, no, it was It was all of us. I, I know there's a lot of sweaty people in the production kind of technical side sweating a lot. Word. Well, now I know we can do it again. And thanks to everyone watching, listening, and thanks for all the questions. And keep safe, keep laughing as much as you can. And thanks for your patience today. Yeah, and of course, it is a concert for charity. So if you do want to get involved and donate, all the details are on our Facebook page. Uh, please go on there, donate as little as you can uh, and help uh, you know people through these horrific times, really. And we're here to entertain you with the help of Rhea Jones. And Darren Day will be chatting to me tomorrow on the question and oh. answer. Finger crossed, fingers crossed, it goes a little bit better. Have you got any questions for Darren Day tomorrow, Rhea? Um, I worked with him in one of the Royal Variety shows. Did you? Um, just, yeah, so just saying... Sending lots of love, really, and maybe we could do a duet sometime. Uh, but no, just, um, or it'll probably be as smooth as anything tomorrow. It'll just be come on straight away and be really smooth. So you'll have no trouble with Darren, I'm sure. Fingers crossed. Rhea, you stay safe, stay at home, send my love to your mum and, uh, and your dog, oh. and we'll speak to you soon. Take care and thank you again. Oh, a pleasure. You're wonderful. Thank you. Bye bye, my love. Take care. Bye. Yes. bye. So there we go. That was Rhea Jones. Thank you very much for tuning in uh, and watching her. Uh, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for a question and answer with Darren Day, hopefully from one o'clock. Uh, and make sure you get in touch uh, through the Facebook page, through questions and through comments. And uh, we'll read out your questions tomorrow and be sure to watch alongside on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you for tuning in today. I've been Adam Smith uh, and we will see you tomorrow, hopefully around one o'clock uh, for Darren Day asking questions. Get them in. You take care of yourself. Stay home, stay safe and be excited for this concert. Take care. Goodbye.